Hello YouTube, it's Bebopio7 here, and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Aura Tribe Reborn. And I am super, 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 super excited because, uh, there has been a new story development. Alright, a new story development, and it seems like, a uh, Ghost. You guys know that she's going to be heir to the chief, uh, title, which means I'm actually gonna go ahead and quickly give her that little, uh, that little L so that we know she is the next in line. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. But she's going to be taking over as chief when Snow Rose passes away. And she does not like this island. She actually hates this island. And she has this burning sense inside her. This burning sensation and feeling that this is not right. That her tribe needs to keep going and they cannot stop going until something happens. Now, this is the doing of our wonderful deity, Porky, because Porky's getting impatient with us, you guys. I think she's glad that we finally scooted her boots over here, but I also think that she's decided we are no longer going to settle. We are going to become nomads and constantly wander the plains until our destiny has been fulfilled. And at the very least, we've either, either uh, found a jungle or we have found the mountain biome and hopefully freed the creatures, or at least just stepped on the mountain biome, and Porky knows that they will free the creatures. And because of this, from now on, all of our chieftains and most of our nichelings, they're going to be filled with this burning desire to keep moving, to keep traveling and seeing new places from now on. Which means, pretty much straight away, we're going to be moving our nichelings towards those other ports. Which means, when the babies are a little older, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start scooting everybody. At the moment, we're gonna take our time and kind of move a few nichelings and most of the adults are gonna stay in this area. Um, a few that are a little younger are gonna go with us and the older ones will stay and help us with food and everything. But uh, we're gonna have a few more babies and all of them are gonna end up going with us, but it's because we need some more girls and there are some immunities that didn't get like dragged on not to mention that we don't have pairings with all of them so it would be a good idea to maybe see if we can have a few more girls for one thing and hopefully breed with them and you know keep keep our tribe going because that's a really big thing that we're gonna want to keep on you know doing you know our tribe surviving but uh, before we move on let's go ahead and see the names of all these wonderful little niche links and I'm gonna actually use the family mutation menu Oh, wait. Oh, my heart. No, I can't. Stop. No, don't do that to me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. How dare you? Uh -huh. We're gonna look at you. But we're gonna bring them up here, and I've actually named them all. Now, this is actually Ame, and uh, Ame means rain in Japanese, if you guys didn't know. But uh, I really liked the name. For some reason, I, I get a really calm, steady sense, just sensibility from her. I don't know why. She seems really just serene and capable to me. So I named her Ame because uh, rain can be very strong and terrifying. Um, you know, it can be very strong and terrifying, but it also can be calm, gentle, and soothing, depending on what it wants to be. So Ame, for Ame. And then I actually named... I know he's tinier than his brother. Oh, oh yeah, I named him. I know he's tinier than his brother. But I just had to name him Thor. For some reason, I just have this big sense of bravery and just unbelievable, just inner strength from this little guy. He seems like such a hyper and yet protective and very, very selfless, I guess, sense of duty. I feel like he feels very dutiful to protect or at least warn and fight off if he can other predators, even though I don't think he has any strength. It's okay, Thor, it's okay. Your spirit will, is, is strength enough. And then I named his brother Loki, and what finally pulled me in that suggest, like, like, area, by the way, was because he has green eyes, and, you know, Loki, green, it's kind of, it, it's like one of his token things. But uh, Loki here's a little more crafty, he's a little sneakier. So instead of running into danger head-on like Thor would, he would try to find a way around to get the best, like, quick cut from behind or something. He would try to think of a clever way around it or to just take it down safely and sneakily without getting anybody really hurt. So there's him. And then we have everybody else down here. Ah, we actually have Hemlock. And that was a wonderful suggestion by, by um, Puppy Lover 91 Was it 91? Sorry, I forgot your name wrong. 
but uh, they suggested so many awesome names and we have beautiful little hemlock here who actually looks like he's uh, really like another brother of Loki and Thor and he's so cute you guys he is so cute he looks a lot like his dad and then we have Scorch and this name when I first saw it it fits him to a T thank you this was also puppy lover 91 um, I think it was 91 but uh, she just Ah, ah, you nailed it! This name was so fitting for him, thank you! It's so gorgeous, it just, it fits his sizzling personality to a T. And I absolutely love, oh gosh, I love this guy. Scorch just, like, the name especially just totally endeared him to me, and I love his bright green eyes amidst this burning, like, red of fiery passion, and he's so cool! He's so cool! But then we have Spirit Rose, and I actually got her name by uh, combining two suggestions. Puppy Lover 91, you suggested Spirit, and then Trinket suggested Blood Rose. But for some reason, I merged your guys' names in my head, and I couldn't see any other name for her besides Spirit Rose. So hopefully you don't mind that I merged your names, but also hopefully you like the merge. So this is Spirit Rose, and she is fierce and very terrifying, if you ask me. But uh, I, I love her too. She's so gorgeous. And then, okay, so Momo, aww, I just wanted to stop by and say hi to Momo. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. I still love that color, you know, that light kind of tangerine orange. It's beautiful. And then we have Bon, who is her son! Ah! Bon, ah, such a cutie patootie. For some reason, I imagine him as like a Bon Bon. And he just seems like a really mild-mannered little Nietzscheling, just really likes the sweetness of the berries, and he's perfectly content to just stay there and munch them, you know? He doesn't he doesn't mind being maybe pushed around a bit. He's a little bit of a pushover, just a little bit of a pushover, but he's adorable, nonetheless. And then we have Peony, our poison fanged. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, she's like a strawberry milkshake, like what the heck? Actually, she does remind me of our very own strawberry milkshake. Mm. I miss her, but goodness, um, I actually named her Peony, which is also Puppy Lover 91's suggestion, so thank you. But, uh, I, I can't get over how beautiful it, she is. However, uh, also I have found out that uh, the fact that I put hind legs in some of the mates' things, even though they already had perfect hind legs, was kind of redundant. So I'll make sure to keep an eye out to, uh, if they have it in the recesses, I'll put it there, but if not, I'll just put it in the person who actually has webbed hind legs. I noticed that uh, mutation thing was pointed out to me. I thought you needed, I thought having both would increase the chances, and it might, but if they already have both perfect, it kind of doesn't really make sense, does it? But now that that's done, let's go ahead and let's actually start moving anyone, er, everyone, not anyone. Um, speaking of which, Devon and Anticel can actually breed. So those two probably will breed a couple of times, but first things first, we want to get going. So unlike everybody else, the older ones are not going anywhere, so uh, okay, before we do anything, um, sorry Leech, but Snow Rose is not having you hurt her little dollar, <laughs> daughter Ame, and Ghost is going to start scouting ahead to prepare her family. Also, I learned that if we had collected these thorns, uh, our Nietzschelings would have lost four days of their life, so it's a very good thing that I decided not to do it. But uh, Holly and her mate are going to have one more baby, and he's going to collect the normal grass and keep... We have to make sure the babies are all protected here, because this is a later island, which means there are probably birds about, although I have yet to hear a spawn. We have 10 spots here, we have 18 creatures, which means we should have just 8 babies. But uh, I might have to breed a little more than that, we might end up leaving some behind, but that's because I want to make sure that we give ourselves enough opportunity to get really good Nietzscheling babies, like really strong babies. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Let's go ahead and move everybody else then, and I think... Why don't you go ahead and swipe at this, Snow Rose? You're not going to be having another daughter, so I don't think it's a big deal if you do that. Uh, and Anticel, you have a little bit longer to live, so I think it's okay if you stay with your kid. Maybe collect from the poison berries and, um... Okay, so if Nymph's there, then she can scoot over here to collect from this berry bush in the next turn. And Devon can kind of scoot over this way with his really slow movement because... 
You guys know how awful webbed hind legs are. And uh, Nymph, she is just staying to protect the babies and she's not going to collect from that, but she is going to swipe up the nests so that we have more nesting material. And Nightshade. Nightshade is going to stay by her baby. She is feeling very overprotective right now and I feel like she'd... Uh, Momo, wanting to go and collect some more food, will sneak down here and then come up here for her baby so she can hopefully collect another clamshell soon, but she's really close to passing away. <gasps> she lost four days! Ugh! That passage in order to get to this island was so dangerous, but we had no choice. And, ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. I'm not sure what Nightshade wants to do, so I'm just going to leave her there. But our lovely, lovely, lovely Clementine, I think Clementine's going to sit here. She's still protecting her daughter, but she kind of wants to swipe things up and clear out more grass. And I feel like everybody is kind of wanting to get more nesting material. But when all these babies wake up, uh, we're going to start moving them closer to the ports. And we're going to start trying to go as fast as we can because I only have so much time with the Aura Tribe, you guys. And the new update, the new, the full release is coming soon and there's going to be a lot that I have to do and eventually we're going to have to say goodbye and that's going to hurt my heart a little bit. Ah, tear in my eye. It's going to hurt. But alright, let's go ahead and let's pass the turn looking at this wonderful little baby. And luckily Anticel's by a full poison berry bush so she can swipe up more of those. Okay. Okay, you ready, Holly? Whew. Okay, please be healthy, please be healthy, please. <gasps> Oh, she's adorable! And she has double nimble fingers! Perfect! Let's see, um... Let's see, Sianare. Uh, there should be a good name for you around here. <laughs> Rice, that would be kind of cool, but, uh... Silkweed? I don't know, I don't think that fits you. What about Snowdrop? No... Maybe Sugarcane. Sugarcane. I kind of like Sugarcane. I'll go ahead and name you Sugarcane then. Alright, so we named her Sugarcane, and all of the babies are able to move one <laughs> now. So we're gonna have to pick a few guides to go with them. So let's see, Ghost is already trying to scout out the way, and she might be able to weave a faster path, but it also might just be faster to just go through the beach. So if we're gonna be going through the beach, then all of our babies need to move bit by bit. Bit by bit. Aww, them standing on the same port with their mom makes their moms look very protective. Oh, just so cute. And very luckily, I think these two, I think Nightshade is, um, she has a lot longer to live so she can guide a, long, a lot longer. Oh, Nymph, what? Oh, she's about to pass away. I think she'd be really happy knowing that her, her husband's, her husband's legacy lives on in their two boys. And Scorch. Oh my word, Scorch, you are so beautiful. But uh, now that we've done that, I think Momo's gonna straight off collect from this, and she's gonna stay with her son Bon Bon and tell him the ways of collecting and cracking cr clam shells, not cram shells, ugh. And then these babies are gonna start moving bit by bit. So first things first, Unani is actually gonna sit over here. Um, actually, he's gonna sit over here. And little baby uh, Hemlock's going to scoot this way and sit by his mother. They're going to get to know each other. She's going to swipe this up. She's going to scoot a little to the side. And her mate's going to swipe up the nest. You know, just bit by bit. And actually, all these babies are going to have to be very careful. And Snow Rose died, which means that Ghost is actually Chief Ghost now. So let's go ahead and change her name to Chief Ghost. Um, okay, Chief Ghost. There we go. Now Ghost is going to be leading the expedition, but before we move her, I want to move all the other all the other babies. So, let's see. Right now, we just need to worry about Ame being protected. So Ame needs to scoot forward, and then Peony can scoot forward, and Clementine is still protecting them. They're all, they have all got adults by them. And let's see. We have the we have the little boys. Oh, no, not Nymph. I didn't want Nymph to move. Okay. Okay, we can do this, you guys. Nymph is now protecting them. I'm gonna have Clementine sit here just to be safe because I don't know if they both get protected. You wanna get the Razorana? 
Ah, you actually got the Razor Rana. I think she's really fiercely protective of Spirit Rose. She does not does not like the thought of a very sharply toothed fish trying to uh, rear its head up at her baby. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna scoot little Loki here, and I think Nymph is gonna sit here so that her little boy um, Thor can. Uh oh, Thor's not protected. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so he will be protected if we move Nightshade here. So, okay. Sorry about that, you guys. Cammy insists on jumping up behind the table and chewing at my wires. If you have a kitten, just beware. They get into everything. Everything. At least puppies are a little more manageable. They can't climb as well. <laughs> but uh, now that we've done that, let's see. We have a little, little, hmm. Okay, so you know what? I don't know if I want to move Momo, though. Um... It might be best if we just leave it like this. Because these babies should be growing up soon, and at least, uh... If it's like this, they should be protected. So let's let's keep everybody where they are for now, and then we'll move everybody else. So Anticel, her main thing at the moment is swiping up these poison berries, because she has the best collecting. And she has the poison fangs. Uh, let's see. Peony, you have the digger paw. Okay, you have the digger paw. And Nymph is about to pass away, so these babies are going to need protection again. But, uh, Defawn, you need to stay where you are. Protecting so many babies is so hard, you guys. But Ghost is going to go a little further. Um, what if he tries to dig? Are the fish going to move any closer? No, they just move further. Huh, I don't think Ghost has time to deal with you guys. Oh, why don't you go ahead and fish that up? Let's try to keep our food store up as high as we can, and I think Ghost recognizes that the next place is going to be even harder for them to find food. So, we're going to try our best to keep that up. But let's actually zoom out and see and make sure that everybody's okay. Let's sniff. Listen. Nothing as far as we can tell. We want to be very careful, and I want to move as fast as possible because you guys, you remember, there is this, there are, eh, a, there are two ape spawner trees, actually. I looked, there are two of them, you guys. There are two, which is increasingly dangerous, and a lot of our nichelings are not meant for, like, they are not prepared for the jungle yet, and we do have a lot of lean bodies at the very least. We have a lot of stinky tail, so hopefully it should be sort of warded off, but... We all, uh, yeah, we don't have enough of it all, you know? So we're definitely going to try to scoot over here as fast as possible. But now that that's done, let's go ahead and zoom in. And Devon and Anticel are probably going to have a child. And let me just look at Anticel's genetics. Let's see, what's in here? Okay, she has perfect, like, everything. However, she does have webbed hind legs recessives. And I am not having more webbed hind legs. So let's make sure we put that there. And we know... That Devon has webbed hind legs because he delayed us severely in the last episode. And I got a little toasty because I hate being delayed so much. And webbed hind legs has just gotten higher and higher on my dislike list. So now that we've done that, let's try to prepare something else. I do like the collecting for our babies, but I'm not sure what else I really want to put aside from maybe the poison fangs. But it's kind of a definite with these two because that's... They have it in their like their dominant and their recessives, so they should have a few poison fang babies. But I don't know if it's really necessary for the next island. I mean, maybe, but I'm not sure about it. So it doesn't really matter either way. And I I guess we could be okay. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to work on. Um, I mean. We still have quite a few babies with Claw, so if you really wanted to focus on bringing Claw back for stronger warriors, we could. So maybe what we could do is just put a fun color in there, you know? Just a fun color, I mean... Um... I guess we could do a black pattern. We haven't actually seen that much. All of these patterns, right? The patterns are the brown and stuff, but it'd be kind of interesting to see what a black pattern would look like. So let's go ahead and let's put that in there for them, you know? Let's put it in for both of them so that it hopefully would most certainly happen. There we go. So that's an interesting thing. Let's see if uh, if they have some pretty interesting babies. But let's pass turn. Hopefully all of them are protected. Ew. Oh no. 
Oh no, they all have two gems, so they all should be safe except little uh, Ame. No, you're not Ame. Sugarcane here. But she just lost her mother. Onani's about to pass away. Ghost is swiping up more food for everybody. And more of this. Um, well, now that that's done, though, Ame and everyone is going to start rushing over. Ghost has instantly initiated a move. So little Bon is going to run over and make some progress there. And before I move Spirit Rose, we're going to move everyone else. So Clementine, you're going to go with your child. And I think there's a clamshell here. So I think it'll be okay if you sit here and crack it up. And her child, her wonderful, lovely baby, wonderful little baby, uh, Peony, is going to actually move. I don't want her sitting in such deep water, so she's going to have to go the long way for now. Actually, Onani, if you move just a little bit, maybe she can go here. There we go. That should help her move a little faster. And I think her head's above water. I think she should be okay. I hope so. But uh, let's move all the other babies then. We actually, let's move speedy little Thor. I want to see how far he can get. Go, Thor! I hope I didn't put you in too deep. Oh, thank goodness I didn't. I just realized since he's still a baby and he has lean body, he might be a lot slower than everyone else. But uh, his brother Loki is going to move. And let's see. There we go. Now Spirit Rose can make some good progress. Scorch. Onward you go. Oh gosh, so cute. I love our little array of babies, they're all adorable. And actually, while you're here, Nightshade, why don't you collect some of this? And Anticel, why don't you swipe up more of this? And maybe collect from this and urge the babies onward? So, little baby uh, Sugarcane is protected right now. And if I put Onani here, then if she moves, she should still be safe, which is very, very good. Hemlock. Ah, oh, already making such progress. This makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Now, Devon, now that you are here, you and Anticel are going to be having babies. Why don't you go ahead and breed with her? Is she pregnant? She's pregnant. Sit down that nest. There we go. And then lovely Loki is going to... I think he's just going to go in the water because he's big enough. He shouldn't drown at that level. No, yeah, he should be fine. Now, Ghost, why don't you scoot a little ahead? Keep this area lit, lit up. Oh, not another leech. Well, at least we should have a healthy-ish baby. Healthy-ish? No, healthy. Healthy baby. Please be healthy. Curious to see what it'll look like? <gasps> I am in love. What? She shouldn't be sick. She shouldn't be sick. Somebody... Oh, uh, no. Did I miss? I thought I checked the... I was wrong, wasn't I? Oh, well. Whoop, she's sick. Darn it. I'm in love. But I'm in love anyway. B and B. So she's most definitely not going. I'm sorry, little one. You're gorgeous, though. I'm sorry. Okay. So Anticel doesn't have long to live anyway. I don't think she has an issue with staying by their little daughter. And we're going to give her a good name. We're going to give her a good name. Her name is going to be... Um... Okay, I'm not sure what name, actually. Uh, gosh, this is really hard. Um, uh, <laughs> maybe this is a this is kind of a strange one, but it, it might work. Cartadiria? Is that how you say that? Cartadiria? So we have a little Cartadiria here, and she has a black pattern and spots, and she's absolutely gorgeous. And I love her, and I feel very, very bad that she is stuck uh, being sick because I was negligent. I think I read it wrong. I thought she could breed with Devon and maybe with someone else. Ah, I feel bad. Sorry, sorry, Devon. Devon, wait, 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 wait. So you... No. I guess you can't breed with anyone. Sorry, buddy. And Spirit Rose? Spirit Rose, scoot ahead. Oh, no, actually, I don't want her going there. Unless she can move past like um, everybody else can. So he can move forward, and I think she's almost going to get leech, so she can just go here. And Thor can run ahead and take the leech off her. Ah, oh, I'm so proud of everybody. They're all skidoodling really... Oh, they're going so far. 
And, okay, Spirit Rose, you only have one move, so I don't think that's gonna happen. However, Peony, you can move in a second after everybody else up here scoots. Hemlock's moving ahead, and so is Ame. Um, maybe sit there. Goodness, moving all this bit is, can be really, really hard. And Ghost, okay. Ghost is going to try and stay in the lead of the procession, and we're already almost at the ports. <gasps> Could we move to the next island in this episode? Oh my goodness, that would be great. That would be so great. I do feel kind of bad that we have to leave little Cartagaria, but, uh, oh. Oh, that's just sad. Really wish we didn't have to do that. Oh, fudgy wudgy. I just moved Thor in her spot. Darn it. But, uh, Onani. I guess it's okay if Onani stays here. I don't want him to grab from the poison berry bush though, so... Um, can you move? Yeah, you can. Okay, good, good, good. I don't know where little Peony can move, so I think she'll stay near her mother for now. Maybe, maybe, uh, hang out a little while longer. Do not collect the berries. Thank you. And why don't you go ahead and slice this up, get us some extra food while you're at it, and then Devon can do the same to these two berry bushes. Hum, really gonna want to focus on the food soon because we only have so much time, but let's go ahead, zoom out, and let's just quickly look. I think we only had one more child, right? No, we should have enough to go, so we did as much as we could, and let's, let's, uh, let's pass the turn. Oh. No! No! Ghost, annihilate it! Eh, eh, eh! Oh, wow. Huh. Also, let's check who got leeched. Show me. Was it you? Okay, what about you? No. You? You? You showed me over here! Okay. I don't know who else got leeched. I can't see anything, and... Am I missing it? Because I'm looking for the symbol of being leeched, and I see none. Who else? I mean, maybe you? Maybe it was- Oh, the Spirit Rose! Okay, take that off her. Uh, Nightshade is, uh, in your debt. In your debt. Now, now that you can move past, why don't you scoot over here, little one? I think she might give Cartadaria a pat, and hopefully we can get out of here before you know what, Javon's gonna be staying, he's gonna stay with his daughter, so at the very least we know that she has someone. And uh, he's also, he won't swipe at the berries yet. She's gonna collect from this, and I think she'll collect from this first, or not, or not. Um, she doesn't need to, it's okay, we can swipe at it. <gasps> Gasp! Gasp! Oh my goodness, you don't have anything that we need, but you are stunning, sir! Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry. He is beautiful. So he's out. Oh my gosh. It's really a shame that I can't actually invite him to the tribe, especially since he doesn't have any immunities that are really worthwhile for me right now. At least as far as I know. Yeah, no, we have A, and I know that we definitely have B. Dang, though. Wow, you're so pretty! You're such a pretty boy! <gasps> Just look at him! Okay, I have to say, when they're that, like, bright, bright white, or say from Melodism 2, when they're that dark, 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 it's just so, it's so mind-blowing to me. So pretty. But, uh, I'm sorry, Van Duke, but, uh, we actually cannot invite you into the tribe. I appreciate your presence, and, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. We will not be accepting. Oh! Before he goes to steal our- no Don't drown yourself, you ding-dong! Ugh. I- ugh. Well, the ore tribe's super nice. I don't know if they could do it. Dude, you really had to- Ugh. Don't do that! Okay. So, Loki is going to just kind of avoid it. But, you know what? You know what? You know who we have here? We have Thor. And Thor would probably give the guy some food. Just so he would get out of the water. You ridiculous Van Duke dude. You, you're so... Dude, why? Why? Why you gotta do this, man? You're such a dork, and it looks like there was a plant that allows you to breathe underwater over there. 
But at the very least, Van Dukdu can come back and keep everybody else company. So he can help back here and help watch over Katadaria and maybe take that on as his personal responsibility as payment for them being so kind to him. So Nightshade, she's going to be passing away soon. I think she'll take her sister's place, swipe this up too, give us some extra berries and her sister, sorry, her brother's place and help protect the baby and he's going to sit here as well. Even if they get sick, I don't know if they might be immune to it because he has B. She might not. She might actually get sick. I don't know if that whole thing works yet though, so I don't want to move her, so she's going to stay there. And Clementine's going to kind of help by clearing this stuff out. Go so you took down that carnivore like it was nothing. I am impressed. And Thor should be okay. I don't think he'll get hurt on the first level. Uh, oh, she's leeched. Okay, take that off for then. Thank you. Loki, very kind of you. Sugarcane's gonna scoot forward, and let's let Ame go forward. She's going to very calmly lead her fellow, um, her fellow, let's see, what is a Nietzscheling baby? What do you guys want to call a Nietzscheling baby? Like, I don't really want to think nest, like, I mean, there's like pups and stuff, but I don't know if I want to do pups. Um... I've heard the suggestion nestlings. I don't know if it would fit with the Aura tribe or really baby Nietzschelings much. Um, he's collecting us some extra food and then he'll speed on his way. We actually get to move Peony, so let's go ahead and move her forward as well. Um, um, I guess she can stay there. <laughs> okay, she'll move around in the water and join us. But uh, there we go, there we go. Alrighty. I think we have to bring her because she's the only other one who can like breed right now. But if I look at Sugarcane and I look around, she can breed with she can't breed with Loki, right? No, actually she can breed with Loki. Well, well, well now, and yeah, she can breed with Thor too. Hmm, what an interesting discovery. Oh, still sick, little one. Oh, everybody over here is sick now. Oh dear. But uh, if we move fast enough, we should get out of here before it really spreads much further. But Clementine's having fun just helping out. I think she's going to go hang out with Nightshade, uh, who's about to pass away, unfortunately. <gasps> no! No! No, 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 no! How dare you! Oh my gosh. Devon? Devon, attack it! You attack it! And before it gets you, attack. There we go. And she's pregnant. I didn't even see the genes. I should have taken time to look at that. Whoopsie. <laughs> I was just angry. I was angry, you guys. Don't let anger get a hold of you. Well, it had no paw. I know that one. And she has two claws. So I don't know what I want to put in there. She has two claws. Hmm. I can't believe that. I totally forgot. <gasps> oh, no. There's like a little bit of a cheat thing. If I click on them, I can adjust the mutation menu, I think, in this version. Well, oh well, Spirit Rose Baby is going to be unknown. First things first, we're putting normal eyes in there. I, I don't know if that'll affect anything, because she is... <sighs> well, oh well, it's going to be a surprise. Hopefully it's new immunities if it's sick. Oh, oh, oh well, oh well. I have nothing to say. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to collect that. I wanted you to move. This is turning into a disaster. Disaster. But, uh, alright, let's go ahead and move everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so Van, Van New Duke. Oh, it's Van New Duke. Van New Duke, get over here, man. Oh, what the f me? What the fudge? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, there's been so much chaos. So much unbelievable chaos. I'm gonna look around, and Sugarcane's leeched again. Loki, take that off her, please. <sighs> Actually, you're slower, so Thor, this time you take it off her, and then you jump all the way over here, buddy. So now that that's done, Sugarcane can scoot her little self forward, and Loki will follow her after. Ah! This is so unbelievably frustrating. Go here, go here. Peony, you and everybody else, they're, you're kind of slogging behind. Ah, oh, goodness. And it's that cursed webbed hind legs again. I absolutely hate them. I hate webbed hind legs. So 
so much. He's gonna collect up some more food and then move forward. Okay. Everybody, move. We have someone on the ports. Someone on the ports, and it was gentle, gentle-hearted Bon. Aww. Aww. Ghost is going to scoot herself forward, and she's gonna take her place at the helm of the of the little uh, rock port. And everybody else is just gonna follow. Ame's gonna steadily just set herself by her side, and Hemlock, he's just kind of following in in tow, you know? He's just going with everybody else. We have almost everybody over here. It shouldn't take too long for anything else. Ugh, I can't believe that. I was just like, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. And it wouldn't have mattered if he had bred with Nightshade because she was about to pass away. <sighs> okay, it's okay. We all make mistakes. I didn't mean to make him gather from the thorns, but you know, you know. I'm bitter. I'm so bitter right now. Ugh. Okay, so Razor Rana, not in the mood for you. Not in the mood for you. I don't know if this level will make her drown, but I have a feeling that it will. So she's gonna go here. Go up. And I know she could swim, but I didn't want her to. Okay, let's not leave Spirit Rose behind, alright? She's carrying an unknown baby of unknown... If it has a new gene, then it's instantly a good thing, and I'm not going to regret it as much. But if not, then I'm so sorry, you guys. I know you're probably all yelling at me. What the heck? Can you... What? What are those? Are you guys going to get bitten? What's going on? Dude, scoot forward. What is this? I don't like it. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Um, do you have nimble fingers? Yeah, you collect that up so she can move forward. Okay, so that looks like something I don't want anywhere near all of my nichelings. Um, we're going to scoot Thor over here because he's so speedy, and we're actually going to move some of the other Nietzschelings that are already on the ports further in so that there's space for the slower ones to get there sooner. And let's get everybody over here collecting what food they can. It looks like Clementine's passed away. But uh, little Cartadaria can at least sit herself by a poison berry bush and help us that way. Whereas Van Vanuduk is probably going to start walking around, and he's found a nest, interestingly enough. And Devon, I think he'd do the same thing. Just stay by everybody and maybe try to collect from it. What? How did it poison you? You have poison fangs! That's what. Ah, uh, is it because he had the claw? Because he has poison fangs. He shouldn't have been poisoned. Today's a disaster, you guys. Pass the turn. I'm really frustrated at this, actually. He shouldn't have been poisoned! That is not fair! That is not fair! Sleep sickness and is very sleepy. Oh my goodness. Can you at least get to the ports? You can't, can you? Anything that she can do? What are you? Taro! Is this this is new, isn't it? Taro? Uh, Vanodu, quickly invite him. Invite. And actually, little one, you need to quickly weep these up. What are you? You're melanistic. Oh, that's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You unfortunately have the no palm blindness recessives and you actually have toxic body, but you have DNI. Who can you breed with? You can actually breed with Spear Rose who has a baby. Oh, dang it. Um, can you breed with Sugarcane? You can. So you know what? What I'll do is uh, I'll breed her, him with Sugarcane. And let's quickly change up his genes. Perfect eyes. And then let's see. He's got a he's got a, like a runner leg or something, doesn't he? Uh Velvet Paw. Okay, so I I'm just gonna go ahead and put runner leg in there. Where is runner leg? Do 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 I cannot find it. Oh, there you go. Runner leg. So that hopefully should help us there. Now let's look at sugar cane. Perfect eyesight, she has double nimble fingers. I don't know if there's anything I really want her to contribute. Maybe besides ram horns, but she's already got that. I mean, she ha she doesn't have it in her recessives, I guess, but... It's just kind of nice to always have that extra bit of strength on your creatures, so we're gonna put that there. And it might be nice to kind of get some different snouts. So, 
Maybe Big Nose? I don't know, I'm just kind of curious, but these two will breed. And before they do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move Loki closer. And he unfortunately got sleep sickness, which is a really interesting thing to discover because I didn't know it was a thing. Before we have them breed though, let's move everybody else and let's actually move Peony. And before we do that, ugh, get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. Get over here. I really hate how slow you move, darling. It's really frustrating. But at least everybody else is almost there, so we should be okay. And Vanuduk has done his duty and helped repay us, and unfortunately we don't have a lot of food, which means... Cartadera, you're gonna be slicing that up, buddy. You're gonna be slicing that up, sweetheart. And now you can get over here and you can breed with Taro. Okay. I wonder if you're a long, like, long, long, dis like, far descendant of everybody else, of um, Taro from our old Aura tribe. And speaking of which, anybody over here leech? You're leech. Okay. So Ame, being uh, the responsible little leechling you are, take that offer, please. Leech, you're good. Everybody's good. Alright, pass the turn. Uh-oh. Sleeping? Okay, so we know, we know that he can make it here. And we're actually going to move everybody who can go further in. So you, sir, you're going to go over here. You, sir, you're going to go here. And Spirit Rose. Mm, there should, there might be someone that we don't want to bring here, but I kind of want to bring everybody that I have. Oh, actually, Spirit Rose, go in. Go in one. So that way, um... So he's going to be getting the sleeping sickness, and he has a long bit to his life, but I kind of feel like I'd rather bring sugarcane. I think I'm just going to bring sugarcane. Can she get... What if I sit her here? So Ame's actually going to move so that everybody else can get there, and then we have wonderful sugarcane who's going to scoot up. We should have everybody here, and before we go, we're going to try to gather as much food as possible. So, Taro, why don't you try escaping from that terrible, terrible nest of annoying flies? And maybe sitting over here? Um, Carta... Cartadria, why don't you go ahead and collect this up, and swipe it down. Giving us some more food, and hopefully just... A better chance because this was this was frustrating I'm glad we're finally moving islands and this is another crazy long episode I just noticed I just ah uh, next island take me take us ghost hopefully we have enough food and that we're okay let me check on everybody a lot of our nutrients have big bodies so we might want to start going normal body and lean body for this next island but okay okay so who can you breed with again you can't breed with him. You can't breed with him. You can breed with him. Yeah, you can breed with Thor or Loki. So she can go ahead and breed with Thor. There we go. All right, so we have pairings. We have pairings. We have uh, people that can breed. Okay, and Sugar Cane's going to end up breeding in the future with Loki because, uh, oh, he's got the sleeping sickness. Poor boy. But now go ahead, take us to the next island, and I will see you guys there. Yes, travel. Here we are! Wow, <laughs> the lighting's certainly different, and I'm a little scared here, but we're here, and there are a lot of underwater breathing... Breathing? Breeding? Bre no, it was breathing! What, what, what? Brain? Why? I guess I'm just so tired because of this crazy... But look, this island is actually pretty small, and luckily for us, the ports to the jungle island are really close. If that's lucky, if that's even lucky to you guys, but, uh, Jungle Island! I can't believe it! We're gonna be there! That's terrifying. That's unbelievably terrifying. But, uh, alright! Alright! I think we've done pretty well, and I'm actually really excited about all this. And I really wish that the niche links with nimble fingers were on this side, but unfortunately they're not. Alright, you guys, I am so sorry for another crazy long episode, but... I just really want to spend as much time with our little um, Aura tribe before we have to move on because of the uh, big release of the official game. So we're going to be maybe having a lot of long, long episodes, and I hope that's okay with you guys. If you're enjoying them, let me know. But uh, hopefully that will help us at least get to places like the jungle, which it seems to. We're going to get to the jungle! Hopefully. 
definitely going to start focusing a lot more on getting food and maybe bringing back certain traits that will be a little more useful for us in the jungle. But alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. I love reading your comments. But uh, I'm going to be popping on out of here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!